Okie doke. Um, actually, I was just going to do uh, just take a picture of this uh, book um, and pop it on my community tab. But it also, and it's from um, Despot Infinitus. Um, and it looks wonderful. It's a nice, I'll, I'll talk about this later. It's a beautiful, like really thick paper uh, cover bit here. Looks amazing. Uh, I will say one thing though that I noticed right off, well, not right, right off the bat. But I went to the, I went close to the end. Oh my God, there's just so much here. I mean, just, it, it just looks amazing. Uh, I guess it was in, no, it was a uh, letter after death or around that, somewhere around there. Hold on, I gotta look, or the Enigma, oh, anyways, 183. Let's see if I can find it quickly. It was something that um, when I saw, I went, that's exactly what I want to be reading. Uh, I was trying to hope that I was going to find eventually. Okay, it was somewhere very similar to here. Oh, darn it. Um, okay, that's right. It was very close to his, the burial thing here. No, no, was it this? Letter after death. It was about this person where the guy goes back and forth. Um, it should be noted that the entire... Uh, maybe I should do another video. Um... Darn it, I can't find it. But anyways, it would it was this author who criticizes who did like another um look at uh Svetozar Brevich and um uh no it's not that. Yeah, Croat or Serb, exactly. Um uh yeah. oh, darn it. Anyways, and it was about like it just went through uh uh, exactly that was the part thing here a military leader who had never lost a battle and i wanted to do like a little mini thing to say like well is he really should he really be considered the lion of the azonzo because he you know was always doing defensive battles but that was his job and um you know you start getting into the like i'm starting to clue in about you know about offensives and so on and so forth and you better make sure you're prepared and yeah, what well, you get the you, you know way more than i do um but I, okay, let's get to the reality is what I wanted to show you guys because that was, like I said, just going to be a community tab thing. It's this bit. So I will put the website for this thing. But my God, there is like, it, get, it gets into like, well, this, I'll show you the ones I thought were mind bogglingly interesting for me. Well, they, oh, a lot of them are, but uh, it gets into some pretty intense detail. Um, like Austro Hungarian mine warfare and auxiliary. Vessels in World War One, and this one, Fortress Pola. I guess that's um, which I've seen on the Der Valkyrie maps, and uh, I've read in the chronology books that where um, um, uh, the Italians were bombing it, and so on and so forth. And so that would be th that. I mean, but you'll see the ones I want to. Did I miss it? No, nope. it's the micro geopol uh, geopolitical whatevers. But I just wanted you to. There's also World War II stuff, and my God, Austro-Hungarian torpedo boats. It's just like, what in the world? And the detail, like one of them was saying, oh, don't worry, you're going to, you know, we'll list every every ship and so on and so forth and what happened to them and on and on and on. I'm just like, oh, my gosh. Uh, here's that. This one looks really interesting. And it's only 20 pounds, uh, 20 euros. That's not that bad. Um. Yeah, we're getting we're getting close. But anyways, I just wanted to show you the titles quickly. Um, like I said, I'll pop the website in. Um, I just I, I had no idea that they had. Um, I, it was just a roundabout way I found that book, and I didn't even know. But this is the thing I really want to get is uh, the history of micro geopolitical divisions, um, and I'll read it to you quickly, uh, or <laughs> read it while I'm saying it. Uh, the last armed uh, conflicts that happened in the European continent in the 20th century were the, uh, were the Civil War in Bosnia and Herzegovina, the Croatian Homeland War, and the Kosovo War. Even though these states are now independent and in internationally recognized countries, post-crisis management and little success, recognize, recognized national borders did not prevent further divisions on local levels and micro-scale ge geopolitics, divided regions, cities, and immaterial uh, ethnic micro borders still burden lives, re lived realities, and geopolitical visions in the region. Hmm. Anyways, yeah, that I just think. Is there anything else on here? Oh my gosh, there is some more. Well, there's. Yeah, I think I stopped there when I was like, okay, I had other things to do. Oh my.
was that for? What is that? Well, I think I'll have to go to the website just like, uh, well, maybe some of you guys. I don't know if you're going to go, but I'm going to go poke around. So, yeah. His wife, what the hell is that? Blah, 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 on the Italian front. Ooh. Okay. And then, what's this? Oh, it looks like a lot of World War II stuff. All right, that's it. Like I said, I'll pop it in the, um, I'll pop it in the links uh, thing there in the description. Okay, hope you're having a great time. See ya.